We pray to you, Almighty God, in this time of unrest, violence, and confusion in our nation's capital, in our states, and in our local communities. You are our refuge and our strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Do not let us fail in the face of troubling events. Uphold us with your love and give us the strength we need. Help us in our confusion and guide our actions. Heal the hurt, console the bereaved and afflicted, protect the innocent and helpless, and deliver any who are still in peril for the sake of your great mercy in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rise up and come to our help, merciful God, for we are in need. Our spirits are weighed down with fear. Our bodies feel as fragile as the dust from which we came. All that we have trusted seems hidden from sight. Although this moment has come upon our nation, you have not forgotten us. We do not trust in our own power or strength but in your steadfast love in every generation. Show us your face in this time of trial. Remind us of your faithfulness and save us in your tender mercy. Amen. Eternal God, amid all of the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In these times of danger, confusion, and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort all who are in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Holy Trinity, one God, you show us the splendor of diversity and the beauty of unity in your own divine life. Make us, who came from many nations with many languages, a united people that delights in our many different gifts. Defend our liberties and give those whom we have entrusted with authority the spirit of wisdom that there might be justice and peace in our land. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Sovereign and our Savior. Amen.
Almighty God, we lift before you all who govern the United States of America as a nation and in our states. May those who hold power understand that it is a trust from you to be used, not for personal glory or profit, but for the service of the people. Drive us away from cynicism, selfishness, and corruption. Grant in your mercy just and honest government, and give us grace to live together in unity and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of endless love, ever caring, ever strong, always present, always just. In Jesus Christ, you join to your own suffering the pain of all who have been hurt in body, mind, and spirit by those who betrayed the trust placed in them. Hear the cries of our neighbors, known and unknown, who have been gravely harmed, and the cries of those who love them. Soothe their restless hearts with hope. Steady their shaken spirits with faith. Grant that all who have been harmed may find peace in justice. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Loving God, inspire by your Holy Spirit those who are afraid of losing hope for which we now pray. Give them a fresh vision of your love, that they may find again what they fear has been lost. Grant them your powerful deliverance through the one who makes all things new, Jesus Christ our Redeemer. Calm and quiet us, eternal God, as a mother holds her children close. All people have refuge in the shadow of your wings. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Hold before us the wisdom of your cross, where we are drawn to you, not by might or power, but by your boundless love and forgiveness in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. How long, O oh Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in their insolence. All evil, evil doers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O oh Lord, 
and afflict your very own. They kill the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet you will not abandon your people, nor will you forsake your own. If the Lord had not been my help, I should soon have dwelt in the land of silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped, your steadfast love, O Lord, upheld me. The Lord has become my stronghold. My God is my rock of refuge. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. God will dwell with them, and they will be God's people. God will be with them and will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Eternal God, your word brought forth creation, and your spirit brings order out of chaos and confusion. You breathe upon us, and we try to hear one another with language we can understand. Pour out your spirit upon us now, that even when we disagree on the way forward, we may remain united in Jesus Christ, in whom we are known and accepted with a single love. Amen. Creator God, you made us all in your image. Help us to embrace one another as you do, beloved and blessed, not in need of fixing, but in need of authentic welcome. Bring healing where it is desired, affirmation where it is lacking, and awareness to all. Open our hearts to receive the gifts and needs of all people and to become communities where everyone can find a place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us this good land as our heritage. Make us always remember your generosity and constantly do your will. Bless our land with honesty in the workplace, truth in education, and honor in daily life. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil course of action. When times are prosperous, let our hearts be thankful, and in troubled times, O oh God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, 
grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthened dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Gracious God, by day and night, we pour out our prayer to you. We are crying out for justice, yearning for what is right, longing for your peace. Come quickly to help us, O God. Save those who call upon your name. And your people cry out, How long, O Lord? We hear of hateful violence and senseless killing. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? We try to feel the suffering, sorrow, and shame of the oppressed. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? We fear that justice will again be delayed or denied. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? We see your creation destroyed by carelessness and greed. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? We grieve in the aftermath of the siege upon our nation's capital and the freedoms that we hold closest to our hearts. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? We long for a day when we can stand as people who respect each other, even when opinions and beliefs differ. And your people cry, How long, O Lord? Gracious God, keep us working and praying for the day when your justice will roll down like waters and your righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Replenish our strength and stir up our hope as we look for signs of your coming rain and fill us with the peace that passes all understanding, the deep peace of Jesus Christ, our Savior, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. Go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak and help the suffering. 
Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.